Welcome. We're absolutely thrilled to introduce our five-day instructional plan for multiplicative thinking, a resource that's bound to ignite your teaching journey. This day-by-day -day guide is tailor-made to empower teachers in their planning and instruction. If you've explored our five-day plan for primary numeracy, you'll find this one just as enlightening, with the only difference being a unique set of materials. You can easily access this plan in the free materials section of our multiplicative thinking drive folder. Let's dive right in and see how this five-day plan can help you with your planning and instruction. Within each day of our five-day plan, you'll discover a dynamic duo, an instructional component, and a dedicated student practice segment. It's essential to remember that this plan is merely a suggestion, providing a flexible framework. Feel free to tailor it to your needs with adaptations and adjustments that align perfectly with your teaching objectives. Our resources and materials are designed to be wonderfully versatile and accommodating to your specific goals. Day one of instruction is quite predictable. You will use the multiplicative thinking e-lessons for your initial lesson. We are going to pretend that we are working with a group of students who are at level B for instruction. Remember, level B students are either using repeated addition or skip counting to find the total. Our goal is for them to start acknowledging and using the multiplic in and multiplier to write an equation. Once you select the level at which you are working, just read the prompts and go through the slides. You will want to decide ahead of time how many slides you want to go through for your lesson. You may only want to go through one or two, or you may want to go through all of the slides. There is a lot of flexibility with our approach, so you can decide how much instruction your students need. Once you go through the slides that you chose, it's time for your students to practice what they learn. Now let's focus on student practice. The Developing Multiplicative Thinking Workbook provides a wide range of skills and practice opportunities. This should be your primary resource for most of your student practice. The workbook contains more exercises than you'll likely need, so make sure to choose the specific pages for your students to work on. Keep in mind that there will always be extra practice available for you. So if you need to allocate more time to student practice, you have ample resources to support you. When using the multiplicative thinking workbook, it's important to note that it was designed with differentiation in mind. Assigning the correct answer sheet when necessary is critical because the same practice page can be utilized at various levels. Since we are working on students who are working on level B instruction, we will use a level B answer sheet. This end day one of instruction. Day two is about reinforcing what was learned on day one through a hands-on or visual experience. The level activities guide is the resource that you will want to use, which you can find in the curriculum folder in our free drive. This guide sorts activities by levels, making it easy to choose the right one. The guide provides universal prompts to guide students through these activities. Each level has a specific objective and the prompts will keep you focused on the target skill that you are developing. You'll also find all the materials you need in the R free drive. Once you are in drive, click on the materials folder. It's not just materials though, there are short videos showing how to use them effectively at different levels. There is a variety of activities. Since this is the first follow-up activity, you will want to choose one of the more basic activities. Day two practice closely mirrors what we did on day one. We'll continue using the developing multiplicative thinking workbook, but select different pages compared to the previous day. It's important to note that this workbook has more exercises than we'll ever need, so we can be selective in choosing the specific pages that best reinforce the concept we're working on. This flexibility allows us to tailor the practice to the needs of our students. This ends day two of instruction. On day three of our instruction, we're introducing a new resource called the Multiplicative Thinking Independent Assignment Workbook. This workbook is more direct but has less practice compared to the developing Multiplicative Thinking Workbook that was used the previous days, but it holds equal importance in our teaching approach. On this day, we'll conduct whole group instruction by selecting one set from the workbook to work on together. Each set consists of six problems. As this resource is differentiated, it's crucial to ensure you choose the correct answer sheet. During this whole group session, you'll provide explicit and direct instruction to your students. Following the whole group instruction, you'll assign one or more sets from the workbook for individual student practice. This approach helps students consolidate their learning and work at their own pace. This concludes both the instruction and student practice for day three.
on the fourth day of instruction will be very similar to day two. Since this will be the second hands-on or interactive visual activity, make sure you use models that your students have not been exposed to so you can deepen their understanding. This time we wanted to challenge our students with a new interactive visual activity. Just a reminder, we got some useful videos in our materials folder on our Google Drive. These can help you learn better. For practice, you've got a choice between two workbooks, the Developing Multiplicative Thinking Workbook and the Multiplicative Thinking Independent Assignment Workbook. It's up to you as the teacher to decide which one is best for your class. But one thing to remember is that no matter which workbook you choose, make sure to use the right answer sheet. This way, you can keep track of how well your students are doing. The fifth day of instruction, you would do some type of progress monitoring of your students. Be sure to look over the assessment so you know what type of thinking you are looking for.